of the methanol formation uh, defined by this equation, the turnover frequency of methanol formation to the turnover frequency of methane formation is uh, our uh, term for uh, the selectivity for the large rhodium particles and the small rhodium particles. Here you can see the particle, the average particle size estimated from 10 and calculated from hydrogen chemisorption and you can see that there is a fairly good agreement between these uh, two methods. The different rhodium dispersion uh, were prepared by ion exchange uh, with uh, the pentamine, uh, the, the, pentaclo uh, no, the pentamine chloro complex of rhodium into the zeolite and the large rhodium particles uh, were kept by heating uh, this uh, precursor in the in, in literate uh, gas stream, for instance in argon or nitrogen, whereas the small particle sized rhodium <coughs> were obtained uh, by treatment in oxygen and further by uh, reduction in hydrogen at the indicated conditions in this transparency. Our interest was now what may be the reason for this different behavior and what can we do to explain this different uh, results and at this time uh, we can draw the first conclusion from the catalytic from the catalytic results this is the main product of the syngas reaction in both cases, in the case of small rodent particles, in the case of large rodent particles, is methane, because more than 90% selectivity uh, were obtained. And therefore, we have to expect only small differences in the reaction pathway. In order to investigate uh, the adsorption behavior of carbon monoxide on this uh, different uh, dispersed uh, rhodium particles, uh, we studied uh, on self-supporting wafers after pretreatment in situ the conditions uh, are described in this transparency during the IR measurements in flowing syngas. All the spectra were recorded at the indicated temperature in transmittance with the Fourier transform infrared spectrometer, and the absorbent spectra were computed by subtraction of the transmittance spectra measured at the corresponding temperatures in a flow of nitrogen after treatment had been performed. In the next transparency, I will show you the, the spectra of the spectra at different reaction temperatures, temperatures during the syngas reaction in the infrared cell. You can see that at room temperature, in the case of uh, large sodium particles, a very small amount of carbon monoxide is absorbed. With increasing the temperature, you can see that at first, uh, the amount of absorbed carbon monoxide is slightly increased here. And secondly, 
1,700 wave numbers uh, appeared uh, in the spectra. At the temperature of reaction, and uh, I showed you the results of the catalytic experiments at uh, this temperature, 570 K, we can see that molecular CO is practically absent in this case and only uh, several bands below 1700 wave numbers uh, appear in this spectrum. In the case of small rhodium particles, the next transparency, you can see some differences to the spectra observed on large rhodium particles. The first is that the intensity of all bands at room temperature is higher. And with increasing temperature, up to 520, the intensity increases for this bands in the region of molecular of CO. We can observe some different role, uh, some different uh, uh, rhodium or some different CO species on rhodium at all. There is a rhodium dicarbonyl species, stable up to 520K. <coughs> then we have linearly adsorbed CO in this region. This is not uh, resolved from the dicarbonyl. And we have bridge bonded CO in the region between 1800 and 1900 wave numbers. The formation of bands in the region below 1700 wave numbers is nearly the same in this case as in the case of large rhodium particles. From these results, we can draw the second conclusion, <coughs> namely that the intensity of the bands of molecularly adsorbed CO is distinctly higher for the small rhodium particles. And this, it is generally accepted that molecular CO is the precursor, is the active uh, component for the formation of methanol in the Syngas reaction. But uh, we have some another differences in the spectra of large sodium particles and small sodium particles at the same temperature, at the temperature of 470 K, we find in the case of small particles a very intense band with a maximum at 1768 wave numbers. lower temperatures, but at higher temperatures uh, it is shifted to higher wave numbers in the region of the bridge, of the normally bridged side 
uh, bridge band bonded uh, CO on the road. There are uh, some possible explanations for the observation of these bands. For instance, in the same region, Arakawa found an absorption and decided it to CO triply bond to metallic rhodium. Another possibility would be that CO formed a so-called tilted structure with C C-bonded to rhodium and O bonded to an aluminium cation. But uh, the intensity of our band is, in my opinion, too large uh, for such uh, a species because I only know from literature that uh, such a proposed species, that, that the intensity of the band for such a proposed species is always very low. And uh, third, uh, it may be assigned to a CO cluster uh, around the sodium cations with less perturbation as assumed by Angevara, published uh, for about four years in Journal of Catalysis. A second interesting difference in the spectra of small and large rhodium particles is shown in the next transparency. At the reaction temperature of 570 K, we find in the case of small particles, a very small shoulder at 720 wave numbers, which is absent in the case of the catalyst with large shoulder particles. And uh, we assume in accordance to uh, results of Kinemann and co-workers that this band may be attributed to a formule species which is an intermediate, a very reactive intermediate in the formation of methanol which can be stabilized in our case uh, by uh, rhodium and uh, influenced by uh, sodium cations in the vicinity of the rhodium particles. And this interaction between CO and sodium cations uh, may be uh, larger in the case of small rhodium particles compared to the larger ones. <coughs> Therefore, from this results, we draw the third conclusion. Where is it? Yeah. Namely, that CO triply bond to rhodium or influenced by sodium cations may be react either by dissociation well, by dissociation and methane formation or by migration of hydrogen <coughs> to form methanol via a reactive formula intermediate. At last, I would tell something on 
the bands below 700 wave numbers. In accordance to literature data, we assign the band year 1580, 1590, in most cases, to acetate and maybe also to formate species. Together with this band, 1565, 1570, wave numbers, is assigned to acetate. The band at 1400 may be uh, from formate species. And 1430, uh, we do not know exactly, but uh, it may be uh, caused by carbonate, which is also formed in <coughs> at our reaction conditions. The very small band at 1720, I all is assigned to the formule intermediate, which is very active, whereas all the other species are very stable even in the presence of hydrogen up to the reaction temperature of 570 K. And therefore, from this result, we draw the fourth and last conclusion, namely that the absorption bands below 700 wave numbers assigned to formate, acetate, and carbonate are very stable even in presence of pure hydrogen up to the reaction temperature of 570 K, and therefore we think that these species do not take part in the catalytic reaction, but lead to the deactivation of the catalyst. Thank you very much for your attention. So now we have two minutes of discussion. Any questions or comments? Assignment of the peaks at the 1780 or 6 of the number could be 70, 1760 or 1780 is the number. Yeah. Might be a possible formation of the rodent 6, 16, which inside. So what such uh, uh, rodent carbon in plaster is a possible. I think, I think that the intensity ratios of the spectra shown here is completely different from the spectra published in the literature for such a corrosion faster Because if I uh, right remember, the most intensive absorption band in the case of the rhodium plaster compound is the band nearly 2070 uh, or 2060 or so. Yes, yeah, the inside of the zero cage is a linear band with the higher frequency and yeah. the triple ball of the CO is shifted to a frequency. You can be assigned to the Anyway, it is totally it is a Rhodium, it is uh, talking about the uh, size effects for the product safety. It's quite uh, important problems. It is uh, some component. It is so much a sensor to change the. Uh, yes, the, 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 at first, at first I, I have assumed such a possibility to explain this uh, spectra, but then I compared it with uh, spectra in the literature and saw that the intensity ratios are completely different. Okay, sorry, since we are behind the schedule, we go on to the next paper. Next. Yes.